fashion industry is the second largest polluter in the world right behind the oil industry. Currently, the world on an average consumes 80 billion pieces a year. The number is up by 400% in the last 20 years. One in six people work for the global fashion industry out of which a majority of women that earn less than three dollars per day. 250,000 Indian cotton farmers committed suicide in the last 15 years. And all of this is because we are contributing to a ridiculously fast-paced um, fashion industry that is not doing any good to people, to the environment. The actual business model is completely unsustainable. Unless you change that model, you can't change anything. When everything is concentrated on making profits, what you see is that human rights, the environment, workers' rights get lost. My God, we can do better than this. Now, sustainability in fashion is a subject that I am really new to and I'm learning something new every day. So if you have more suggestions or things to add, please send it to me so that we can uh, keep updating this post. And a few things that I decided to do to reduce fashion wastage and you also can do very easily. There are so many minimalist bloggers that I'm a huge fan of. Um, they show you how to work with a few quality pieces that last you and, and they do it in a way that doesn't make you feel like you're repeating your outfits that many times. What I've been doing in the last two or three years is investing only in my Indian clothes. I get a few made once a year whenever I travel and I plan them in such a way that I can easily combine them with my streetwear here. You only need to visit these stores once to be convinced how cool vintage can be. There's also the thrill of finding a rare hand-me-down from a designer from back in the day. Although I like reporting on runways and trends, I don't necessarily update my closet with those trends. If you're like me, then you should check out this store called ThreadUp, which is the world's largest consignment store. So I know I don't need more white clothes. It's easier to be careful when you buy separates or accessories. Um, you tend to think of what you already own and how to build on your wardrobe as opposed to, you know, repeat purchases and um, buying too much of the same color. When I posted this on Instagram stories, some of you told me that, you know, closet space is an issue. So there are a few apps to help you keep track of what's in your closet. You can actually index your entire closet by through pictures you can plan your outfits on these apps and definitely use it when you're shopping so you don't buy what you don't need one thing that i remember doing is getting all my long pants shortened into culottes because i just outgrew like palazzos and trousers i recently also saw my blogger friend swati repurpose an old kurta as a tray liner <laughs> Swati has been exploring eco fashion for a while now. You should definitely check out her Instagram and her blog. Try to donate when you know that it's going to be reused because about only about 10% of clothes that go to thrift stores actually get sold. The rest end up in the landfills. But I really think we should slow down a little bit and um, consume less, shop less and more importantly shop consciously we are just used to trends changing on a weekly basis that is what the fashion industry wants you to think that trends are moving fast and so should you you know sustainable fashion doesn't have to be boring it doesn't have to be expensive it can be very practical and also fun if you you know put in a little extra effort when i was working on this video i found out about uh, a couple of sustainable brands and designers there's one called Rothy's. They make ballet flats and really cool shoes with uh, recycled plastic water bottles. Alright, so like I said, this is not 
an all-inclusive list if you guys have suggestions and if uh, i know many of you have been have looked into sustainable fashion way longer than i have so if you can add to this list please do let me know if you implement any of these suggestions and uh, if they've helped you control the quantity uh, that you shop I got these new shades as a gift. You're going to see them a lot.